In this section, we are looking at tangent planes. Now, to begin, I want you to note or recall that in single variable calculus, we use the equation of a tangent line, or also known as the linearization, to approximate a function's value and to estimate changes in the dependent variable. So here, we are going to extend this one dimension from R2 to R3 and see that differentiability at some point on a surface implies the existence of a tangent plane at that point. So what a tangent line is to R2, a tangent plane is to R3. Now, I want to begin by reminding us that we already know how to find the equation of a plane. So let's recall that the equation of a plane in space, or in R3, is described as the set of all arbitrary points P, passing through a fixed point P0, and normal to a vector N. And we were able to derive the equation of the plane in three dimensions using the dot product of the position vector. So remember, we defined our position vector as the vector from point P0 to point P. And we dotted this position vector with the vector that's normal to the plane. Now, since our position vector exists on the plane and the normal vector is normal to the plane, we know that the dot product of these two vectors is equal to zero by definition of the dot product. So extending this out or expanding this out, we have our position vector x minus x naught, y minus y naught, z minus z naught. And again, we're dotting this with that normal vector a, B, C, and that's equal to zero. So computing the dot product, we end up with the equation of the plane. So we have A times X minus X naught, plus B times Y minus Y naught, plus C times Z minus Z naught is equal to zero. So this provides us with the general equation of the plane, which we're now going to go ahead and use to find the equation of a tangent plane. So let's just take a moment and think. The goal of this section is to find the equation of a plane that's specifically tangent to a surface. So tangent to a surface f in R3 at some point P0. So looking at this general definition of the equation of a plane in R3, we already have the point P0 here, so that's taken care of. But we need a normal vector, a vector that's normal to this surface in three dimensions at any fixed point P0. So that's the next goal. We need to establish some orthogonal relationship between the surface and our tangent plane. So let's go ahead and take a look. So in order to help us define a vector that's normal to a surface at any point, let's consider the following illustration for an implicitly defined surface. So I want you to consider a smooth curve C defined by some vector valued function R of T for some arbitrary parameter t, such that this smooth curve c lies on the surface in three dimensions. So here we have this beautiful surface here, our implicitly defined surface. And I've drawn a paraboloid, but of course this could be any surface in three dimensions. Now notice on this surface, or lying on this surface, we have a curve c. Now keep in mind that this curve C that lies on the surface is parameterized by the vector valued function R of T with the components X of T, Y of T, Z of T. Now since C lies on the surface, we can use C to parameterize the function. So here we go, we can say that since our smooth curve C lies on the surface, 
we can use that vector valued function to parameterize that the surface f. So in other words, we're going to take the x, y, and z components of our surface and replace them with the parametric representations from our curve C. So in other words, we now have a parametrized surface, f of x of t, y of t, z of t, is equal to zero. Now, by differentiating this newly parametrized surface, we're going to be able to see the orthogonal relationship occurring. So let's now go ahead and differentiate with respect to t. And again, we're differentiating with respect to t here to establish the orthogonal relationship. So let's take what we found above and apply the chain rule. So we have the ddt of both sides of our implicitly defined surface. And by the chain rule, we have the partial derivative of the surface with respect to x multiplied by the derivative of x with respect to t plus the partial derivative of the surface with respect to y multiplied by the derivative of y with respect to t plus the partial derivative of the surface with respect to z multiplied by the derivative of z with respect to t. Or alternatively, of course, we could use the subscript notation f sub x, x sub t, plus f sub y, y sub t, plus the partial derivative of the surface with respect to z times the derivative of z with respect to t. Now, this is where the orthogonal relationship starts to become apparent. So do you notice a relationship amongst the terms in this linear combination? We have the partial derivatives of each variable, and we also have the derivative with respect to t of each variable. So we have the dot product in reverse. If we group these like terms, we have the vector containing the partial derivatives, f sub x, f sub y, f sub z dotted with the vector containing the derivatives of each variable with respect to t. And we know these two vectors. Woohoo! We know that a vector containing the partial derivatives is the gradient vector. And we know that the vector containing the derivatives of each variable is the tangent vector. So again, this is our gradient and the tangent vector. Now, wait a second. What do we know from the dot product of two vectors? If their product, their dot product is equal to zero, what does that tell you about the vectors? They're normal, woohoo! So we can say that therefore, the gradient vector and the tangent vector are orthogonal to each other. They're normal. And we can make some other conclusions here. Since the tangent vector lies on the surface, so since the tangent vector lies on the surface and is orthogonal to the gradient, this lets us know that the gradient vector is normal to the surface. So the gradient vector is normal to the surface. And now because we derived this orthogonal relationship for an arbitrary point on the surface, this holds true for any point on our surface. And this is exactly what we need. We need a vector that is normal to the surface at any point to help us define the equation of a tangent plane. So now that we have our normal vector, 
the gradient, we are officially ready to go ahead now and define how are we going to find the equation of a tangent plane to a surface at any point. So here is our official definition, our formal definition, for the equation of a tangent plane for an implicitly defined surface. So we want to begin by letting f be differentiable at some point p0 with the gradient vector at p0 not equal to the zero vector. So then the plane tangent to the surface, the implicitly defined surface, f of x, y, z equals zero at a point p0 which is called the tangent plane, is the plane passing through the point P0 and orthogonal to the gradient at that point. So here we go, the equation of the plane. How do we define this? Well, again, let's quickly recall the general equation of the plane is defined by the position vector dotted with the normal vector being equal to zero. So we do the same thing here. We have the position vector from the arbitrary point P to our fixed point P0 dotted with the normal vector, which here is defined as the gradient vector at that point x0, y0, z0. And this, of course, is still equal to zero. So our position vector, expanding this out, we have x minus x0, y minus y0, z minus z0. And this is dotted with the gradient vector, so the vector containing the partial derivatives of the surface at the point P0. So to save a little room here, I'm going to write the partial derivative of the function with respect to x at the point P0, which of course we know is x0, y0, z0. We have the partial derivative of the surface with respect to y at the point P0, and we have the partial derivative of the surface with respect to z at the point P0 equals zero. So by the dot product, we are left with the partial derivative of the surface with respect to x at the point p0 multiplied by x minus x0 plus the partial derivative of the surface with respect to y at the point p0 multiplied by y minus y0 plus the partial derivative of the surface with respect to z at the point p0 multiplied by z minus z0 is equal to zero. So this is it. This is the equation of the tangent plane for an implicitly defined surface at a point P naught.